box one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whole bunch of boxes have out to Amazon today. Very excited about that. Really good shipment. A uh, whole bunch of profit around two grand uh, on total profit 50, 59 to two grand. Didn't do the total amounts because I made the boxes individually as my restock limits permitted throughout the weekend because I didn't want to like lose any slots because I think they reset on money. That's what people have said. But I'm very limited by restock limits right now with what I can send into FBA. But it's Q4, so I'm maxing them. As I can, I got a whole bunch of shoes and apparel headed out. Actually doing more shoes um, lately because I found some really good margin stuff, which I'm very excited about. Different from the traditional Nike stuff I've been doing, so I'm very excited to keep diversifying out. As well as I got my eyes on some toys too. Gonna play some like Walmart and Kohl's, uh, maybe t some Target. Hopefully they don't ban me. Orders coming up, but very excited about that. Just good Q4 vibes, doing what I can, trying to get as much product into Amazon as possible so I can maximize the profits I make. This is really my first Q4 as like a, like really going hard, even like um, pretty much selling any type of like toys and anything like that. Um, as I have been selling on Amazon for a few years, but I didn't really figure out on gating till last March, which is when I met like a couple of my friends that I'm now really good friends with. We're all selling, we're all going hard. I'm um, doing six figures a month, so. I'm very excited to get into this Q4 as it's pretty much my my first one kind of experiencing Amazon in, you know, in the, like it's kind of, I guess it's final form or whatever like that, like really going hard, like taking advantage of different toys, different bolos and everything. And basically the reason why I wasn't able to in the past was because I wasn't ungated in big brands like Nike, I didn't have the toys category ungated. And luckily that information is really, really available now. So now I'm able to take advantage of this stuff. Um, so like I said, doing a whole bunch of shoes and apparel stuff today. I'm gonna order some toys, uh, some online arbitrage probably later today. The way I'm figuring out good items is using one, the sales rank, and two, the keep it chart. Sales rank is basically the indication of how well an item sells in respect to the other items in its category. So for example, the number one book, the number one toy sells quicker at the current time than any other toy or book in that respective category, right? So the number one book sells the most out of all the books. A uh, book that's ranked number one million out of whatever, 30, 50, 100 million books Amazon has total, sells a lot slower than the rank 100 or the rank one, whatever. So as well as using Keepa charts, Keepa is about $20 a month, but it's really, really important. It's a plugin and a Chrome extension, uh, or a, yeah, Chrome extension, I guess, that shows on your, then your amazon.com, you go to the products, you can see how it's performed. Uh, one of the boys just FaceTimed me actually, but I'm staying here for you guys because I want to make a good video today. It shows how well it's performed over time. Uh, I'm going to be making a Keepa chart breakdown video if I haven't already by the time you're seeing this. Um, and actually, I do have one. If you search for some Miles Keepa, you'll be able to find a video of me and Garrett breaking down some Keepa chart. I found make another one. But basically, I'm using those two to see how stuff will perform. Interestingly enough, Amazon.com, like Amazon is in stock on a lot of stuff. And apparently, every December, and as Keepa would suggest, they go out of stock and stuff goes to the moon. So I'm going to be taking advantage of those market inefficiencies. And yeah, just figured I'd record a quick video uh, and just kind of document what it's like. But stuff's like not super hectic, to be honest, because I'm mainly FBA right now. So it just kind of, you know, as restock limit slots are available, which is basically like earlier this year, they started limiting the amount of items in a certain category you can have in. And my standard limits and my footwear occasionally get like um, hectic and I don't have tons of slots available because I'm sending as much products in as I can. So as those open up, as, you know, items sell at Amazon, I get more slots, so I send more shipments, and that's why I've been recording videos when I'm making shipments, because I think it's fun to show and talk about my life as a full-time reseller, and I think it's fun for you guys. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, reselling, Amazon, ungating, whatever, I'm here to help, and I'm going to go pick up that phone call, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.